Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> Gold Squadron podcast, and I am coming to you live from the Top Fifty Invitational here at Crate Cup Four in North Carolina. And for this round, I am joined by. Where am I? What year is it? I don't know. <laughs> joined by uh, Travis the Johnson Johnson. There, Previate. We... <laughs> How you doing today, Travis? Uh, I'm uh, I'm better now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations on making top four. Oh, uh, eight. Eight, excuse me. We'll have, you're looking at top yeah, four. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> yeah, coming in a little cold here, but you know, um, Jeremy and Nami did a wonderful job. So I want to thank them for uh, giving me the opportunity to play. I did make the top 50, so it was fun to – I got to play two weekends in a row in like a competitive event. It was wow, kind of crazy. Impressive. All righty. So uh, – Nami and Jeremy were telling me that you guys in the chat were behaving, which is good. I'm, uh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of all of you. So, uh, super excited here. We got Phil Horney returning uh, versus Tommy Adams out of Kentucky. Let's go ahead and break down Tommy's list. Um, so, yeah. Sorry. Someone was handing me a beer. So, I see uh, uh, Instinctive Aim, Proton Torpedoes, uh, Luke Skywalker. The odds are mediocre versus the target lock focus but it's not a massive drop right that's eh, a decent drop but at least you have the always ability to to, to, to threaten the uh the proton torpedoes later against a higher uh target mm -hmm. um you just have this blue <laughs> blue squadron escort because and uh two double tap y's i think i mean i'm i to be honest the list looks quite fair Mm -hmm. um, but to that end, it would rely on Tommy kind of bullying with those arcs, arc control, like slow movement, zoning out control, saying if you come here, I'm going to be able to shoot you with two or three arcs, and then capitalizing with Luke. Yeah. To the extent that he starts getting spread apart or picked apart, Phil's list will be able to start really doing damage to that list quickly because he can sit and take a shot a turn. Yeah. Right? You see he's, what I'm he's not he's worried really about got, that. Yeah, he really wants to like – separate those ships convince them to k turn or to turn too hard into too far into one direction or split his list up i wouldn't be surprised if if phil tries to convince them to come through these rocks where you kind of have to start breaking your your formation mm -hmm. up it's not a formation list but they kind of do want to hang out to each other to kind of overlap, overlap those ion yeah. turrets yeah and i think that's why tommy probably opted to take two of these ion turrets you mean you're just more likely to get the ion to stick to something right if you're going with multiple ships with that i with those uh, upgrades on there mm-hmm so then on the left, we have Phil Horney bringing a first order list. We've got Quick Draw with Fanatical Pattern Analyzer, Special Forces Gunner, and Fire Control System sitting at 64 points. And then Kylo bringing the Supernatural Reflexes and Pattern Analyzer. I mean, that's just a good, great combo on Kylo. Mm -hmm. With Pattern Analyzer being able to do those talent rolls or K-turns and then being able to do actions after, it's fantastic. And then uh, Noel, just, just that, that just TIE no. Fighter. Just Noel. And here's, the Noel. Um, you know, he sits at initiative seven when uh, he's not damaged. So, mm -hmm. actually, I'm going to go ahead and raise his initiative here so that we can. Uh, I kept thinking in our game, Null had Fanatical. And I kept remembering, no, he can't do that anymore. Yeah, no, um, he, he has no He's like EPT. a fair ship when I actually heard him. <laughs> Though he does turn into a blocker mid-game, which is a weird. Because, mm -hmm. like, if you think about 2.0, there's no um, damage cockpit dropping you to zero mid combat anymore exactly. but null still has that effect yes which sometimes as people have realized in your games dropping to, to ps0 sometimes is a feature it's not a bug yep. right so null has that weird quirk somebody in the chat here says i will donate five starting time in 30 seconds and Somebody here in the chat says they'll donate five <laughs> pounds for each ion that Kylo gets, saying saying that it's unlikely. It, it is unlikely. It is unlikely. But you know what? It, it takes uh, – I mean, well, guys, he is supernatural, like, though. He paid 24 points for supernatural to use it two times on my game, and it was massive to both times it worked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's that's why the cost on that those, mm -hmm. uh, those pre-maneuver uh, options just – they went up. I mean, they're, they're just so good. Right. I mean, I don't want to pick apart Phil's list, but I don't know if people realize the, the positive interaction between optics, uh, advanced optics, and force tokens. Mm -hmm. It almost, with a, taking a, a focus with an optics force token, it basically it gives you target lock focus without having to target lock every turn. Um, I see why the pattern is there, but I, I think I'm kind of just spreading the knowledge that, that uh, after we ran some numbers, it was surprising how beneficial optics is on Kylo. 
Yeah. Torpedoes, no torpedoes, anything. It's, it's irrelevant. Somebody in the chat asking what event this is. It's a top 50 invitational. So uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, Tim Hilton. Um, keeps ranker of men. The ranker of men. Uh, takes uh, entries from what used to be List Juggler and is now List Fortress. And essentially has formulas to determine how people have done in cuts. And, uh, a weighted average, basically. A uh, weighted average. Yeah, there you go. You're better at the maths than I am. Well, I so. haven't seen it, but I know the ge- he asked the general formula. But I do, it's worth saying that this is the last of this kind of invita- invitation. Mm-hmm. So he's moving away from the ranking of players and more to an actual invitational based on your performance. Mm-hmm. But it's not a ranking. It's You earn invitational points. He'll just keep track of results throughout the season. Right. I don't know his scoring. You'll have to ask him because he was still playing around with how it works. Yep. But it would make this a bigger event. Okay. Right? And so that more people would qualify, and it turns into more, if people show up, if we would like to show up, mm-hmm. more open. Yep. No direct ranking of players. Right? You're just, hey, you even if you, you have 20 it. qualifying points or if you have 40 qualifying points, at some point, yeah, you've been doing good, but who cares? You, you qualified a while ago. Exactly. Um, and, and more people invited. Mm-hmm. So that's the next step. So this is the last one of these in terms of the top 50 invitation. It will turn into just a broad invitation. I forget what he's calling it. Great. Sorry, Sorry, Tim. <laughs> it's been a little bit of flux. He's working on yeah. his new math. Absolutely. So no surprise here to see Kylo Ren turning away from uh, fl- from the formation in the front. There's no need to uh, to commit. Mm-mm. And I know you know flying. You flew a ton to Kylo in first edition oh, yeah, yeah. with me, right? Committing is the enemy. Exactly. You just you put yourself in a spot like, hey, if you do something crazy like turn away on the mm-hmm. first turn, you're like, okay, sweet. I'm <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna go up there. Yeah. I mean, I think people over. Not to take away from Phil, I'm, I'm, but I'm going to – everyone thinks – so this is sounded terrible. Mm-hmm. I'm not taking away from Phil, but people also over-attribute the skill necessary for Kylo mm-hmm. in the sense that they think it's some really masterful thing. And right. what you're really doing is dialing in more generic maneuvers yes. so that you can capitalize on the new board state. Mm-hmm. right? And he's going to get basically almost the entire information except Luke. I didn't check the bids if, if Kylo's moving. Yeah, so Kylo moves before Luke. So he'll yep. literally get all of that. And again, based on the strategy, unless Luke starts separating from the list, he does have an idea where Kylo or where Luke will be. Oh yeah. And so that's what he's reacting off of. So he wants to dial and, and generally speaking, fast maneuvers are really good with supernatural. Oh yeah. The two turns really good, but really f- you'll see a lot of five straights in those four Ks oh, for yeah. a reason. I mean, because just the amount of difference you get in a boost mm-hmm. is just ridiculous. Yes. You're t- completely different parts of the board. I said we already. It looks like. I didn't catch that. It looked like a, already a, a turn by quick draw. Mm-hmm. So. Yep, turning away. Mm-hmm. Just kind of coming through here, probably trying to draw like Tommy it, through yep, the rocks. Like we talked about earlier. Again, he knows that it's not explicitly a formation, but they do want to hang out. Mm-hmm. And the less they can hang out, the better he can take advantage of, especially with Kylo, but even the rest of his list. I mean, you have two arcs for a reason with quick draw. Yeah. Right? It doesn't hurt. I mean, you, you do want to joust when you can, but if there's a whole list, he'll, he'll take the pot shots through a rock. No problem. Every day. Mm-hmm. And really try and, co- like, if these were debris in the middle, mm-hmm. and you see them more to the side, but these right here, if you notice that he's coming this way, the problem will be as he comes this way, he'll have to turn this way. Yep. And so if these were debris, he might actually go ahead and take – Take you know, some stress, no big but deal. This, but the rocks here are really key because it, now he has to start preempting. Maybe he'll try and come more like this so he can then come this way or that way. Mm-hmm. But he's got to land that way. Of course, fortunately for Rebels, they're slow. Yeah. So, um, and one one thing that we can't uh, discount, I don't know if Tommy would would be willing to do it, why Wings do now have that red barrel roll. Mm-hmm. So it's early in the in the game. He wouldn't be too punished if he took this Y-Wing one bank Mm-mm. barrel roll and then he has them split out here. But it looks so like it does, he's decided well, to go faster. It looks like he really wants to not commit as quickly. He might turn into that alley a little bit, try mm-hmm. and play the game of cutting it off. But, I mean, not that that's a bad strategy, but Phil has f- not really committed either. So right, like, yeah, exactly. So, neither opponent is really committed. And so that's a good strategy, but we'll see how Phil reacts to that. Mm-hmm. We'll see if Phil left him some outs based on that, that information. One of the things um, that some players, you know, with the non-committal, essentially what you end up doing is you just kind of shift the board, right? Mm -hmm. Is the board edges are no longer here, right? Mm -hmm. You end up shifting it to 45, you know, the, oops, breaking things over here. Do what you want, man. Yeah, it's it's, it's my stuff, I'll break it if I want. Um, You know, your board edges are now, you know, you you, you just shifted the board, that's Mm -hmm. all. Someone was asking about the mat. This is a special mat that you can only get for attending Crate Cup, and Mm -hmm. you have to buy it. Yep. <laughs> and they're sold out. Yep. And I have one. Yeah, <laughs> it is pretty. 
I will say that this is this. It looks great on the stream. It does. I it came lo- back here and I realized how good it looks on the stream. It looks really dynamic. Like mm-hmm. it, you, you know, it's not moving, right? Because mm-hmm. we're not crazy, but like you kind of step back. Well, and some go, art has that effect, right? Yeah. Where it just your eye can't focus enough, and there's that the phantom movement. Yeah. But it just really pops on the screen. It pops on in person too. Mm-hmm. And it's not too busy. Like we at any time, I'm not lost where my tokens are. Because exactly. sometimes mats can get a little busy. This is not it. Man, you know that we want the, the wave three to drop. Look at oh, that Camino. Oh my goodness. You could relive the Battle of Camino. You could. Oh, I'm super pumped. That would have been a great oh, giveaway. Blame, blame the crates. They don't have any extras. Hey. Wait, bring Chris, not crates. Li- listen, listen. <laughs> I, I can neither confirm nor deny that I've talked to Chris about this. Oh. Okay. I really don't know, so <laughs> and 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 I would tell you that if it was happening, um, I'll, I would let you know bef- right, like right before, and it definitely would be patrons oh, only. Great. <laughs> so this is great. So right now, like we were talking about, so you have two options from Tommy. He can bank in, and then he'll be facing this way, and he can come down this alley. Mm-hmm. Cool. He can also go straight, and then he has that problem we talked about of turning in. Yep. It doesn't it's not that he can't. It just he has to be more uh, aware the whole time. Yep. But look, the slow maneuvers here, he'll probably like one bank or one straight again. Yep. Kylo can just move around the board, and it ne- that way, if, no matter which one he goes, Ky- uh, Quick Draw will go pick the other one. Exactly. And so will Kylo. And so, like I said, neither opponent's really committed, but it, Phil's Phil pushing starting. Tommy to have to commit first. Yes, yes. Because the issue here is uh, – it's something what I like to call, like, you don't want somebody to be on the back 45, mm-hmm. where if you don't have ships that can boost and add that extra 45-degree mm-hmm. angle, eventually Kylo will beat you on that turn. He's mm-hmm. just going to keep, you know, yep. hard and, and bank. And all and of a sudden— he's got four tokens, man. Exactly. Man, uh, focus token plus two force goes a long way. Oh, yeah. Well, one force he goes supernatural mm-hmm. a few times. So super, super, uh, super good just having that boost versus ships that don't have it. <laughs> right. Um, one of the things that we've noticed that uh, a lot of us have tended to do is we start building this, what we call the wall. We make a joke. Unfortunately, the wall has other connotations, but we did it first. Right. Um, is this diagonal across the board. Yeah. And what happens is with ships without boost do have like this exact problem. Ships yep. with boost, much easier. A-wings, it won't really d- deter at all. But like I said, you end up with this problem of like they have to like back here – have to start figuring out their maneuvers where they're going to be here and either pick here or they have this turning in problem. I keep highlighting it, but it's a really good tactic against especially these rebel ships. You're going to see like the rebel beef. This yep. is a rebel beef problem. Yes. It doesn't mean that they can't overcome it, but you, every little extra tax you put mm-hmm. on your opponent mentally is a bonus. Absolutely. And like that's the key here. And, that, and so we're talking about rebel beef both in really in, in hyperspace as well as extended. We saw oh, it yeah. well. This is a really good tactic. Like I said, yeah, they move slow, but they have to start really like, oh, there's rocks here. So instead of the one turn, I'm going to do the three turn. You got to start gonna, managing I it. I got to go one more forward. You know, like you slow down the, ter- the, the timing a little bit. They yep. have to stutter step differently or they end up in a position where they have to do one more forward than two turns. Right. And then the burden of execution just See, goes. Yep. Here's you coming down this he's, alley. He's committed. Yeah, he's trying to, trying to cover the middle. Mm-hmm. Not, not quite committing left or right quite yet because he could still – he still has the space to, to break this way, but – uh, next turn, we know. Yeah, we're probably going to see the three banks from a lot, or even the, the if the X, if he doesn't feel confident with the X wing, it's not maybe three banking, but it doesn't matter. So he's not fully committed, but yeah, at some point he's got to pick one, and I think Phil realizes that he can kind of force him to pick one first. Yes, and then then we'll see th- a flurry of activity. I, su- I suspect. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what I was saying here is you know with with these with these rebel lists where you're forcing them through the wall, you. Um, you put the, the the onus is on the rebel player, mm-hmm. right? And we have all these these swarms out there, and there are varying levels of experience with it. And if you if you make them have to make enough of those weird choices where they haven't maybe practiced mm-hmm. going into all those funky angles, I mean, that's part of the game. That's yeah. part of that the, the game. It's the extra mental tax. Like yep. you said, I don't want to like make it sound like oh well, you can never overcome these things. Or like yeah, obviously, if I build the wall, I just completely hose the entire. Right, I won the game. Right, uh, but it's just like <laughs> I said, you you build these incremental mental taxes onto the list and then they they have to like i said you you make them make decisions earlier than they think they are right Mm -hmm. this is a a turn ahead problem not a current turn problem yep um and first of all not everyone's comfortable and two longer the day goes on i like putting anything i can do to put an extra mental tax (laughs) on my phone i'm tired too right oh yeah more things i can do to make so this is what like a fast maneuver here he did a pre-boost i said fast is a really good strategy he may have done a i just assume something fast is coming here oh well, why I'm not him. 
And one I thing. Seen, I just saw him pick up a two turn. That's what I'm thinking. Man, right. this looks this looks awfully committal, Phil. You look oh, very yeah, he's, committed. He's, he's going in. Oh, the answer is, though, he can just, like, one one boost to the right and, like, five straight next turn. E Z. Committing is the enemy. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, the poll up. I know it's a little bit late. Sorry, guys. Again, this is my, my first game of the day. We're warming up the uh, – <laughs> he's, he's been yelling at himself for not target locking enough with Kyle, Kylo. So I saw him kind of put the focus down and, like, yell to yank it back. I wonder if he's just going to try and target lock. <laughs> he's li He yelled at himself the entire – he's like, I should have target locked there. I'm like, well, uh, I guess so. There it is. Yeah, you did it. There's a lock. <laughs> So if you want to vote in the poll, one for Tommy, two for Phil. And quick draw, slooping. So gaining some ground and has the opportunity. Still no commitment, right? No, he could one, have gone one forward right next turn. Yep. Yeah. One forward. Well, I mean, like, let's say that he had gone, instead of committing down this alley, he kept going straight. He could have just, like, two turned again. He might be stressed, but, like, they're not going to catch up. Yep. Or joust. I mean, I don't know what he wants. <laughs> so rolling. This is with a pattern mm -hmm. analyzer. Mm -hmm. So even less committed than he was before. <clears throat> Luke accidentally gets skipped in the order. Happens, happens. See, the beauty with Luke here is closed foils. He still has the proton torpedo. Yeah. So his ability, he has the ability to always threaten the boost uh, and still do things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of the things with Luke, man, you, you always want to be target locking. You have that force there, mm -hmm. and his defensive ability, being able to regen those force every single time, just allow him to just, I mean, you, you basically have target lock focus every time, yeah, as long as I you're mean, target locking. All right, let me see here. I can answer questions. We get, like I was going to say, what are the odds on the extinctive aim without the, because uh, the odds for, uh, speaking of uh, optics Kylo, we did the math on like instinctive aim, mm -hmm. proton, optics Kylo. Mm -hmm. So a target lock focus... Our target lock two force mm -hmm. is 73% chance for four hits. Okay. But optics with instinctive aim, so you only have one force, is only 63%. So, I mean, it's only a minus 10% for that massive flexibility. Now, this is a Kylo issue because he, has, right. he can do optics. Luke can't. So, I am a little curious. I'm going to run the math real quick. Just see what his instinctive aim shots are. Because every time he boosts here, yeah, if someone happens to show up, he can spend a force to pop the torpedo. Yep. I mean, that's why I brought it. And instinctive aim allows you to fire... Um, your target lock required weapons with mm -hmm. a focus instead. So that's why with that focus boost that's on the closed S-foils gives Tommy the flexibility. And here's Noel hiding behind the So pole. I always like to think of my torpe torpedoes in terms of that. It's really low for the 4%, uh, uh, for the four shots. It's it's 19%, 18.75. Mm. So it's much worse. I don't want to poo-poo it. It's just like he does threaten it. Right. But he'd still rather set up the target lock double fo focus or double force shot. And here's Noel firing at range oh. three. That was, he can still focus. I didn't give him the focus. I'm so bad. Don't give him a force. Give him a focus. Let's see what the real odds are. Sorry, guys. That's and not how it's one evade, works. and it's going to be safe. All right. It's 32%, 31.6%. That's his actual odds of just when he uh, dumb fires uh, with instinctive aim. Quick draws out. Kylo's reaching for that lead Y-wing. Yeah. Do the damage and leave. And hit crit. And mm -hmm. spending the lock. Yep, no reason not to. There it is. <clears throat> And that Y wing is going to eat two unless he spends a focus, and he does. Takes one on that gray. <clears throat> so um, he might be considering dumb firing the torpedo. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, he always threatens it. Now, I mean, you have that option. You have the supernatural. He didn't have to. So he still has one force left, if I'm not mistaken, because he's supernatural, but didn't need uh, to. He's doing it. I heard instinctive aim. Yep. Uh, flips that charge. We go four dice. So we got 31 percent for four hits. Oof. No reroll. So just probably spending the force there. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, not even. Either yeah, way, spend, spend either one. Spend Doesn't the force matter. or the focus. Change one to a crit. 
That's Kylo the should be fine. Two in a little bit, usually. Spends a force. There it is. Man, that was only a 21% chance. Yeah, that's a... I mean, those proton torpedoes are such a huge resource. Not being able to do significant damage in the early game with them mm -hmm. uh, can can hurt. I mean, he paid, what, 12 points each? Mm -hmm. All right, one hit coming from the Y-Wing. Safe. And then we'll get that double... No, no it won't double tap because it's only range one to two. Yep. So Tommy still has to make a decision here. Yep. Does he keep going down this alley? I mean, that front Y-Wing kind of needs to. The problem is, is that, like, the escape options for Kylo are pretty large here. So he is down one force. I guess he never spent it. I can't I – mean, or he spent mm -hmm. the last one. So he, he has spent, one. Yep. But, like, I don't know how he's going to capitalize on the shots because a five straight does a lot of work here. Like, a lot of work. Because mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you can boost to the right and leave. And if, if Tommy does uncommit, he can just five straight. Yep. It's fantastic. Um, and the only way to keep him honest is, like – Go straight, but then he leaves, and then then what? Quick draw coming. Yeah, like, I actually that, I love I love the five straight here. Actually, mm -hmm. I really really do. Because if anything, if Tommy does decide to go this way, right? Try, mm -hmm. Tries to cur cut off the boost five forward. You you just and this is the problem with the, the supernatural, which is if he tries to hedge, like there's still not a great like yeah sure one time he'll shoot once, but then like those odds aren't very good to hit Kylo. Mm -hmm. You want to do lots of these. Like, the, you came to bully with these arcs. The moment you start yeah. splitting them up, you run in the risk of, like, these are not very good ships by themselves. Mm -hmm. Right? He already did one to the Y-Wing. He threatened more. Yep. And now, like, I kind of feel that Luke most likely needs to start heading towards quick draw. I mean, I think mm -hmm. that's probably Tommy's play, though. Because right now, he doesn't have a strong strong motion to bring in mm -hmm. everybody and mm -hmm. chase Kylo. And if he, if he came that during that, see, that's what I meant by this wall, right? Yep. Like, it, he, he doesn't have good turns ins. These going straight keep them in this alley where these guys can come get them. Yep. And that's what we saw as sort of that death knell uh, or death trap that Phil has coerced his opponent into. Mm -hmm. Sort of, I like to think of these games as a battle of wills. Like, it doesn't, oh, mean, yeah. it doesn't mean Tommy didn't see it. Yep. But he's like, well, what am I going to do about it? And yep. then he's like, well, I think I can handle it. Right? It doesn't mean he, he might end up being wrong, but, you know, what is it? You, you have to try. <laughs> <laughs> I took a calculated risk. Turns out I'm bad at math. Like, sometimes you take calculated risk and it doesn't pay off. Like, yep. the torpedo wasn't a bad move there, but, it, you know, 21%. Absolutely. 21% of the time it works, right? Yeah. No, it was the opposite. Oh, oh man. 21% <laughs> to only even threaten two shots. Yep. It was a, like, that was kind of a bad roll. A little less than average. He still usually pulls three. Right. But, I mean, three wouldn't have done a lot there. Maybe tag Kylo for one? Yeah. That's the problem. Ky Kylo doesn't mind losing the shields. Mm -mm. Like, that's – while he has those shields, he's just – he's a kamikaze. He's mm -hmm. just – he's willing to put himself mm -hmm. in those little bit of dangerous spots. You know, I'll take one to two shots. Not a big mm -hmm. deal. He just doesn't want to be half. Yep. So, I don't really know um, – so, you know, if you were looking for advice, I don't know what Tommy – should do. Mm -hmm. I know what his options are, and it'll be based on what his personal threshold for risk is and what he's sort of thinking and feel, but mm -hmm. it's not very good choices. No, so when one of the things here, right, with this X-Wing, the X-Wing's really far back, mm -hmm. right? Like, he 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 has the, the swarm problem, right? When mm -hmm. you get a, a block swarm mm -hmm. to change f into a line, mm -hmm. like two lines, it uh, he, he kind of has that going on, and mm -hmm. with the low initiative, he... Sure, yeah. he can kind of jump into here, but now he's kind of blocking the Y wings. Yep. I'm curious to see what he choos chooses to do here. By having Luke so far in the front, he's kind of cut off some of his options. See, the problem is, is even if the Y wing goes straight and the others don't, Kylo can just plow into that Y wing. He doesn't actually; he can just block yeah. into it. Um, that's a real option for him. So I, I don't know what Tommy does. I mean, he might just be realizing the full extent of his problem as he's realizing, oh no, he's really looked that great. Mm -hmm. I still like going after. Like the problem with this is. The beauty and and trap of the supernatural Kylo is he gets better as there's less ships. Yep. He gets better as the game goes on. But he's also always hard to catch. Mm -hmm. uh, I did lose, but I, I think I did the right strategy in my game where I just went and just tried to kill Quick Draw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? I was like, uh, I'll threaten some arcs and try and bully Kylo out of places. I'm not really trying to catch him. Yep. And then I killed Quick Draw, and I, I still lost on points. Um, I but got, it was, I got it was a, close. Because well, I got a little tunneled on top Kylo. I shouldn't have put that tight. That, I realized that once Gideon cleared that side of the board, I was like, I don't want to be over here with Kylo by myself. <laughs> this is a terrible <laughs> position. I'm smarter than this. Um, but I was already there. Yeah. Uh, but, like, that's the whole point. And, and 
it, it's a really good list in that sense, right? Mm-hmm. It's putting you between, well, go kill Quick Draw, but then you get free range. Oh, he chose Kylo. Right, he's, he's Let's see how much Kylo. he's committed here. That's the, that's the real question, is how much did he decide to commit? Is it just the Y-Wing or everyone? Maybe he chooses to turn the arc. I know that it's yeah. lowering your, your options uh, to, to mod those dice, but at least it you know, gives you 50% more arc. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to see. This is the reason why you I see, wish Supernatural you see Tommy. Was, yeah. we, We've all uh, been there. We've all uh, been there looking at the table uh, going like, oh, crap. Uh, this is why I kind of still wish Supernatural went up even more. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, it hasn't won it. What has it won lately? I'm like, it's not really the point, right? It's like, so good. Um, and it's very frustrating to play against. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't know if you feel bad for it yet. <laughs> so he has committed. He has committed right. here. Um. So, yeah, the people at home can't hear it. So, t- Tommy just said, um, he says, I feel bad for, <laughs> for not, not rotating. rotating. <laughs> and I think he's just he's trying to put his, his eggs in the basket and saying, like, I, I just want to try to shoot something. Mm-hmm. We're going to see what Kylo decides to do here. So, he's turning away. That, that boost to the right no longer is particularly good. Mm-hmm. Uh, he could just five plow straight in. It depends on what this X-Wing does. That's not terrible either. He'll take one double, possible double tap uh, from the Y-Wing. He can just, like, boost to the left and yep. five, five straight over the rock. He doesn't care. He'll take one, one yeah. But, the uh, boost uh, to the left now becomes an increasingly good maneuver. Because, yeah. I mean, Luke can't catch him. He'll be right next to Luke when he's done. And then Luke would have to preemptively. He can't even K-turn. Yep. Right? So, yep, yep, yep. Uh, Tommy. Yeah, the boost to the left looks pretty good. We'll see what Phil personally wants. He's got that. Yeah, yeah he's got the he's got the one bank in his hand. Yeah, we'll see what I'll Dope. do. Oh. oh, there's a supernatural. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's leave over this rock. Very few. If you haven't experienced some super, supernatural, man, people are not prepared for when you just decide. Oh, oh, let's actually, go over this that rock. Actually, might clear. That's kind of close. Let's see what he does. Like. He has zero cares for running over this rock, depending on what he did. Because it means no shots. Mm-hmm. He's super in. Best block, no be there. He's thinking Don't about forget auto, his auto thrusters. yep. One of the few ships in the game that have that option to boost and barrel roll. Spoiler, he did a blue maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them on there. <laughs> I mean, he has other choices. I usually default to a five straight. It's usually really good. Turns out the four is also blue. Mm-hmm. So if you if he rolls and does the five straight here, Luke will probably one forward into him, maybe mm-hmm. or one forward just past him. Yeah, that's the key. Is it'll just like Luke leaves, and then Luke is forced into a, another weird position. I think you just traded one rock for another one, though. Yep. Uh, maybe you get his template by. Actually, I think he maybe. might get his template by. I think that's mm-hmm. all he cares about is like does the template overlap because mm-hmm. he's not staying there. It looks like a bank. No, nope, oh, no, there it is. It's, it's oh, that five beautiful straight, five beautiful. straight. Roll that beautiful bean footage. So yeah, like Luke has no realistic maneuver that will. I mean, the one bank probably can't even won't even let his barrel roll happen. And, that, and that's the thing about we're getting in really tight with uh, with the ship who's trying to shoot you. A lot of people think like, oh, I'm gonna stay far away. Well, no, sometimes mm-hmm. the safest place is gonna be super close yeah. where they they just can't shoot you. There's yep. no way to get an angle on you. And that's what's so great about Kylo with the supernatural is that he like a lot of times I just put my ship on their ship. It's like, well, unless you preemptively K turned. All right, so Tommy. Debating here, uh, whether, whether he wants to open, open up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, so pretty generic just, maneuver, not bad. But now he's in like he's in a cage here with null, which isn't a big shot, but so what? And mm-hmm. then quick draws coming, and like Luke is isolated. Luke needs to leave. He has the talon roll available mm-hmm. here, and he does have pattern analyzer. Mm-hmm. So that talon roll boost is live. I'm a little surprised. We didn't see a target lock from – no, we did. Never mind. There's a target lock on Luke. I was like, yeah, you should yep. have target lock yeah, Luke. It's, right it's free. They just let you. All right. Don't One call bank. it a commitment. So it's probably rolling to the left, I would guess. Maybe. Yes. I mean, he Tom, has one. Tom, he does have a – actually, he can roll this way and be out of the uh, – 
He can also one turn and torpedo. has pattern, pattern analyzer. Truth. Now, the one turn's not that fantastic because, I mean, you have like a one bank coming next turn. Or you have him correctly realizing that I don't like where I'm at anymore. <laughs> but, I mean, at some point, the problem is, is that he, Phil's already got him out of position. And so mm -hmm. you got to pick your poisons. Two turning away from that, now your list is what? Trying to leave? I, I, it's not great. So you are going to get hit. You should target Phil, lock. Phil's debating what action he wants. He knows he's going to be trading some pain here with Luke, and Luke does have a lock out there. So we'll we'll have the uh, target lock and effectively focused. Hey, no. A TIE Fighter getting all up in there. And Noel is, even without the whole squad leader shenanigans, it's still very good because it's so cheap that you don't want to shoot it, but it's still a ship out there who's just doing damage, just constantly doing damage. You know damage. what I'd like to point out, though, as sad as this is? So my win condition after screwing up with the TIE Fighter was to kill Null. If Null didn't exist and it was a bid, I already lost that game way earlier. <laughs> Truth. For what it's worth. If he had a 31-point bid, he might even be better off against me. <laughs> Sad. Here we go. This is Null, range one into Luke. Three dice. Has a lock. And that's going to be three hits in the Luke. So he's taking one for sure. Mm -hmm. And thinking about spending the force, and he does. Mm -hmm. Takes a shield. Go ahead. Next shot here. Neat. Hit crit from quick draw in the Luke. And it was range two unobstructed. Mm -hmm. Here comes Tommy. Oh, okay. Free force. Another shield. Shields are completely down on Luke. Now it's Tommy's turn. There we go. Proton torpedo, second one. Needs to hope for uh, something Spray big pray. here. But Quick Draw still has her focus. There we go. That's pretty average. There's a target lock, though. He only has one. He's going to scoop up both. Yep. Got Easy. it. And that's the second crit in there. Mm hmm. The problem here is. Ooh, two exactly. shields. The problem here is, is that Quick Draw's full. Yep. So unless Quick Draw super blanked, at the best he could hope for, it, no matter how many crits he pushed crit, through, yep. is mostly shields. That's the realistic ex expectation. And now Quick Draw still has his ability for next turn. Yeah, why didn't you know him lot? <laughs> He's been saying that a lot. <laughs> Ooh, Rack. triple crit. Rack. And Luke, his shield's down <laughs> here. He's going to be taking one. Riggity, riggity, wrecked. All right. One crit, and it is... Direct hit. Direct hit. Oh, man. Luke is at half, taking two, <laughs> two left. There, supernatural. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Phil kind of uh, start to step on the throat here. Just yeah, there's no reason not to. I mean, yep. Kylo's got, a, like you said, a perfect talent roll next turn. I mean, no consequences. <laughs> the crit, the uh, the chat calling it yes evade evade crit 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 all <laughs> so Luke is completely out of those proton torpedoes and needs to uh, look at some options to try to try to survive or take out something before he dies. Um, did quick draw fire back? Yes. Oh, that was a yeah, yeah, triple he, crit. He did the double yeah. tap. Yep. But he's still got the one shield to threaten it for one, one more, more turn. One more, boys. Hmm. Yeah, Tommy. Tommy's in a bad spot. Yep. I mean, this is this is going like straight up game plan for separating the rebel beef. The mm -hmm. wall's working. The wall put him in a weird spot. Again, you have to be able to capitalize it with your own list with the wall, but he has right. the speed to do it. That's yeah. the key point. And it's it's this, you know, being able to, to, to split it up. And now these ships, even if they hard two in here, right? Mm hmm Phil Phil's ready to just, just pounce. pounce behind him. Yep. You got uh Null here coming up the backside. Mm hmm And uh quick draws like I have another shield, it's okay, you can shoot me.
People watching at home, where are you guys watching from? I always love seeing who's watching at home, and I noticed that looks like one of the one of our streams is not currently connected. What is wrong? Looks like YouTube is not working. Oh no. I'll work on fixing that. See see what's going on. Going under the hood, boys. Something something she said. <laughs> Got Australia. Neo Saturn, not wrong. <laughs> I said it's going. Wait, we actually have a Russian? Ah, uh, I see why. You should do that. Yeah, helps when uh, streams public. Do you know mm -hmm. why did it go? I, I don't understand. So weird. All right. All set there. Hello, people of YouTube, whenever you show up. <laughs> I'm working in Alaska. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. France, Kentucky. Awesome. It's so great to see how this game has uh, perpetuated the world. All righty, here we go. I mean, the two turns are not bad. It's just nope. it's, it's it's that was his only late, option, right? Like it's just it's coming late, which is part of the problem. And we have the supernatural Kylo that's the, getting out, and it's, it's mm -hmm. a problem. I'm very excited for tomorrow. You excited for tomorrow? Oh man, it's, it's going to be a great time. Uh, we'll be live here oh. Saturday and Sunday. I just remembered it. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow on stream. Yeah. Wait, what? You didn't. You didn't get told by Chris. No, I didn't get told. What? What's uh, happening? Team Texas versus uh, the Legend of the Five Johnsons tomorrow round one oh. rematch of Christian okay. versus Travis from <laughs> Pack South two years ago. There you go. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Chris decided. Yep. We'll make it happen. And I heard that t Team Texas, rather than showing up in person. Decided to watch at home from their Airbnb at home. So this is me staring at you there through you the go. screen. There it's you coming. go. It's coming. You know, they're, they're at home. You're here preparing. That's you're right. You're here getting your mind right. While you're at home, Travis is training. Imagineering man. So, Dion, do you think you can snag me a mat? Probably not. But uh, if I can get my not hands on. attitude. <laughs> if I can get my hands on one, we're going to give it away. And if you haven't seen this, is uh, the side-to-side -side method. Now that we have those lines on the side, mm -hmm. the uh, the hard two works both ways. If you're just trying to get it, um, you know, get it around a ship, not have to mark things. It's one way to do it. Yeah. In this case, I didn't see the point in doing the the side-to-side -side method. I, I only like it if if there's no way to. It's a lot of like surgery to remove. Yeah. I noticed you spelled uh, cryodex with a K, correct? Mm hmm. <laughs> Again, I, I, it's not that I dislike Tommy's uh, to turn here. Yes, this didn't. Yeah, it doesn't. That's fit. why the. Um, so. It's just that I. It's, like I said, it's a little too late. There's not really to capitalize here. It's just what else was he going to do? Run away? That's not going to work. Yep. And the thing is, like, this X Wing has the, op the capability to boost and maybe start trying to cut off some lanes, but it's behind the Y Wings. It's stuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I think they I went think, single file. Mm -hmm. If he had to he hide had, their numbers. <laughs> if he had that X-wing out front, I would have liked to see some boosting and trying to get maybe maybe that X-wing. Imagine if it was had been in front see? and maybe he was now here and trying to trying to come in something like this. <laughs> so he doesn't have the same there. speed, but what I prefer with this kind of list, he, so he has a very, not a similar list, but like sort of like that Empire list I just brought, right? Mm -hmm. In cases where there's something that can bully my Vader, in this case he has things that can bully his Luke, I like to have the three as lead blockers for the Luke, mm -hmm. right? And so as they go around, so does the Luke. And they go, you know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I, that way Luke is Luke's isolated here. That's that's really the problem. And because of the speed of Phil's list, he's, he's pounced. Mm-hmm. And so, like you said, you got the single file thing. I just, I mean, it's not easy to go through the, the, the lanes as we talked about, but I still like having those, you know, three wide linemen yeah. guarding my Luke. I mean, there's a lot of beef in that, right? Yeah, you have yeah. you have all that health. Make them work for it. Make, make them come through it. There was a talent roll. Yep. 
Target lock with the pattern analyzer and drops stress. Mm -hmm. And he's got that one force recovered. So many buttons. I like it. My command center over here, Dion. <laughs> and is this another talent roll here? Uh, I mean, there it is. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just don't know what else. We, like he's, he's just, just trying like, to get in a fight. Yeah, he's just like, let me shoot something. I promise he might not. I don't know what Quick Draw is doing. Like I said, even a one turn is a pattern analyzer. He could bear roll from it. He could get out of these arcs with a one turn. Yeah. There it is. That's pattern analyzer territory. Yeah, he, should, he very unlikely hits this rock. And even if he does, he can barrel off of it. Yeah, it didn't hit. And he still has a pattern. It's a, it's a, it's a red. Mm -hmm. He hits a pattern analyzer. I mean. Probably drops I, a lock here. I think he just probably just shoots in the. I don't know. Like, I don't hate the barrel roll away. Like, he probably doesn't get tagged and just do it some more. Mm -hmm. I just try and live because he's already got the, the Kylo shot in here. He probably, uh, if he wants a secured kill on Luke, I just don't know what Luke's threatening anymore. I think I'd rather like try and preserve the shields. Mm -hmm. So maybe I mean, you have this long distance shot from the Y wing that might tag the last shield off quick draw. But like if he stays here, he's getting shot more often. Right. I don't know. It's his choice. It's sort of like risk threshold. Yep. He can secure the kill on Luke by staying here or mm -hmm. increase the odds. In increase the, the odds. Yep. And barrel rolling will give him still give him a shot. Oh yeah, I just you, you just won't have the mod right. Um, you see, he's holding that focus in his hand. <laughs> I mean, he can. not That's not wrong. Just, like, secure some kills here, right? Target yeah, lock. There, yeah. There's the lock. So if someone triggers it, he gets to pound into Luke some more. He's, he's going, you know what? I just want Luke off the table. Yes. He's not necessarily wrong here. He's just he's like, I understand I have Kylo, and I'm willing to just make that my end game. No goal. And Quick Draw probably won't die here, realistically. No, no goal's too forward, and mm -hmm. it's just doing his job. He's like, I'm going to stay behind and just start throwing some dice at people. Drops a target lock there. Yep. You can just two bank next turn, three turn. Three turn probably fits. It's hard for me to – it's much harder to gauge this stuff because you're at an angle with the yeah. stream, so you can't always tell which ones fit. Well, Here. the players probably have a really good idea. Here we go. Hit, e crit, crit. Z, E, Z. Null into that Y-wing. That's a blank. And the crit is – Something. Damage, Damage engine. engine, he says. Ooh, ooh man. That is, that, ooh. I mean, turns out your three turn was red anyway. <laughs> oh, God, quick draw. There you oh, go, three hits. Wolf. wolf, out. Gone. Get out. Get out, Luke. Satan. <laughs> he went for the secured kill. Yep, he got him out. I mean, I, was, I don't, like I said. It's, it's a good maneuver, and the odds of him like accidentally killing Quick Draw here. He might he might get you know nothing for his sh last shield activation, but eh, he's still Quick Draw. He's fanatical Quick Draw. He it very much so. So fanatical will be live if he takes that last shield. Mm -hmm. And range three from the Y wing. Mm -hmm. Only one shot, no double taps because the turret is only range one to two. Mm -hmm. One and he safe. Yep. X-Wing will probably be out of arc. Yeah. Man, that X-Wing. It's been in a rough position the whole game, like you pointed out. Man, I feel bad. All right, here's the primary. There Hit, we crit. go. Do something. Live your best life. Wrecked. Go. I mean, that's the problem with these Ys. Here's the I, ion I, cannon. I, ugh. Oh, that's and good. three hits. Might get an ion here. There Ooh, we okay. go. So that's a shield and an ion. We know exactly where Quick Draw is going next turn. Nope. Yep. Now, Quick Draw's in a much worse position. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the risk he took, right? He wanted that secure kill. We'll never know if Kylo could have nailed it out, right? Mm -hmm. We'll never know now. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, that Y Wing's still not in a position to really capitalize. I mean, one of them is. The X Wing is. The other Y Wing is. I mean, this guy here. You probably try – you do the one bank and say, hey, I know I'm going to hit a rock next yeah, turn, but at least I have a shot, maneuver. right? I think that's the best, best maneuver. Like, whatever. You just, like, YOLO over the rock another turn. The X-Wing might get to shoot next turn. I, I, it better. 
How many uncanceled hits on the I want one. Ion? There was one, yeah. But even if there was two, you only you clear them both at the same time, yeah. yeah. So Phil is ahead, seventy-six to thirty-two. I think maybe if Tommy can get quick draw off the table this upcoming turn and not lose any more ships. <laughs> I'm yeah. laughing at the chat. He so I've been chance. I've been asking for the same dice pool all day. Someone asked I demand the same ship pool. <laughs> Strong. Well played. I demand to use your list. I mean if if the judge says it's okay, right? That's that's how this <laughs> Never asked the judge. Keep your head down. And I do want to remind everybody we will be live tomorrow and Sunday bringing you the actual crate cup uh the greatest of cups team tournament should be tons of fun and i do want to remind you that this round is brought to you by curled paw creatives they uh they've just done a wonderful job you know supporting our streams and I, i'd like to tell you guys we do have a coupon code crate cup 19 for 15 percent off and uh andrew just got a bunch of new stuff up there he got the strain token so nice. get your strain before wave three drops um he's got uh the arc id tokens but in the chad size in the large format That's the correct size. If, if you yes. want them for stream we'll actually have them tomorrow they were mailed to us and they'll oh, be really? here tomorrow uh and of course if you're not familiar the uh, andrew knuckles who is curled paw creatives is also andrew knuckles of the birmingham barons you can get your birmingham baron swag there as well and the coupon code works for that stuff as well so get they yourself you a t-shirt. They, they don't want, want you to, to know. know <laughs> I'm letting you know. Only on here. On the down low. 15% <laughs> off with a $15 minimum. So go ahead and uh, get yourself hooked up. I know I need to get myself some uh, some strain tokens. Dion Clickbait Morales. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Why? I, I like your. I like the one manu like one bank. Oof. I guess he's just rotating, but man, that's like I hit it. I mean, it, it can, actually. I mean, realistically, it's unmodded, but, I mean, he's not going to have mods by the time we get there, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's what I would have liked. I would have liked to see him have some mods on that shot because Ion, just Ioning quick draw this turn doesn't have va value Yeah, he's gonna, he can rotate, and he's just going to focus rotate. Mm -hmm. Easy. I would have rather had the yeah, two, this is a good maneuver. two shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens. All righty. God, so I got can the hear Tokaz in there. It's, it's getting, it's getting crate cuppy in there. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, you're gonna bump whatever. You can't help it. But yes, give your three die shot the the mods, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. So this is we're current. We're currently mm. in the top four. Uh, people are asking who won with the Phil Horny and Travis Johnson game. Well, Travis Johnson is sitting next to me. And, so uh, I it, won. It, so he, unfortunately, uh, for himself, did not win. Oh, they're right. The, the, because of the timing, on the, they can't, he can't rotate his arc. Mm -hmm. So QD's very sad. Yes. But every round that QD lives just makes him have to plow shots further. Like... And Kylo was always a jouster. Don't let him tell you differently. Trying to get to range. Uh, trying to get out of that arc of that Y wing, and it looks like he successfully did that. And one forward. The only action he's allowed to do is. Let's see the if he focus. tries to rotate because it's something that's kind of weird in edge case. Drops the yeah, focus. There it sure. is. He knows his ships. Yeah, I figure that three turn fits. Not only does it fit, it fits easily. So mm. gets a, gets around. We'll have a bump, but still is going to have a range one shot into that X wing. Yeah, he is. Which Noel's job is just to be annoying, right? You just yeah, yeah, you yeah. just keep throwing the dice, and as long as Quick Draw and Kylo are up, nobody's going to be paying attention to that. Chewbacca, if you're asking how he came back from our game, yes. There was a time in which uh, Gideon decided that he wanted to be on the same side of the board as Supernatural Kylo and was massively incorrect. <laughs> Very wrong. I did have an out, but uh, Null dodged and made me sad. And I do want to remind you guys that all these games will be put up on our YouTube page. So if you haven't uh, subscribed there, we're trying to get to 7,000 subscribers. Go ahead, hit that wow. subscribe Whoa, button. Really? What? Yeah. 
What are you at now? We're at 6,100 and what? change. What? Okay. Is that many people that play X-Wing? Is there a lot of people who that's play? That's good. No, yeah, I, I, that's no that was surprise. Yeah. That's really Because cool. that's all we do is X-Wing Man, right now. Oh, wrecked. Hit, hit, crit. Riggedy wrecked. And two evades. Right, there you go. I that's bet it's just, in that that's y, a, sad Y-Wing, shield. though. Is it in the X-Wing? Uh, that was into the X-Wing. Oh. Now, riggedy wreck that, that All Y-wing right, Kylo into the Y-wing. Oh, that's why I was the no Null's just doing that. My bad. <laughs> I keep forgetting Null fires first. He just likes to roll paint. This is the Y-wing that only has five hull. Three Get hits. Wrecked. At least two going in. And has a focus. Uh, does not have a focus. Taking them all. One, two, three. Oh, man. Down to two hull there. Oh, Chico, he's sad. Look at him. His jack is gone. He's, he's just full into cookie dough. He, he's full into, like, getting over his boyfriend mode right now. Oh, I'm sorry. There yeah. we go. I mean, Quick Draw might not get out of this, but like I said, if he doesn't die, every round that he has to keep wasting shots, because you got to kill him. Yep. He didn't come here to not sink that done. Because if Quick Draw gets away, he's, he's I-6. I assure you, Null does not always roll that well. Yeah. And... Sad. Nothing. Turns out mods are good. And that's and this is what we talked about earlier. Right? The one bank, I think, would have been money. Speaking of mods being good, he just double tap here. To here you go. This two shots here. That's one. just one on the primary. Easy. Safe. Easy. And Max is one damage. Correct. There you go. You got Takes damage. Takes one. Uh, no ion, though. Quick draw Quick down. Quick draw is about to be free. And he'll probably just pattern here. He uh, if he it, now that he's out, he'll probably just pattern if he doesn't die here. Just X. to like you know go out in a blaze of glory, do even more damage on the way out. Yep. Let Kylo Kylo. X Wing's gonna try to close it out though. He has a chance. He has a real chance. Check. I'm not gonna calculate. <laughs> there's but it, there's a there's universes in which yep. that guy dies. Uh, I don't think you sh you don't shoot Kylo here. You go you go a quick draw. Get it off the board. No, here we go. Yeah, into quick draw. Wrecked. There it is. There it there is. There we go. That's what I like to see. That should be it. There and, we and go. It is. Got him. All right. So quick draw off the board, and uh, Tommy starting to close that gap. I, like, I love when they show us the crits when, when you're when, dead. Thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs> the fans deserve to know. All right, so this is still a game. Mm -hmm. The good news is he does have all the ships up. Well, other than Luke. But I mean, like, the, the generics are... Check their health before. I, well, that great. Never mind. I'm going to take a lot of what I just said back. Is that why wing has two health? <laughs> so, uh, um, we have a stress Kylo here. He's not primed. Um, but he also doesn't care if he gets blocked next turn, right? Like who? That that Kylo doesn't care. You really want your Y wing to get blocked on the Kylo, so you don't get shot. But then, I mean, Null has the easiest turn next. Oh man, it's not Tommy. Not Tommy's fault. He he he. Either didn't recognize or make a choice and, you know, went this way. I mean, way back earlier. Like I said, I, yeah. this is where I got nervous for, for Tommy's list. Oh, he yeah. made that choice back here. And I'm not sure there was ever a correct choice, if that's sad yeah. as that sounds. Right. And the problem is that that was on that 45-degree angle where he would have been able yeah. to have this spot where Phil had to make a choice of committal. But Tommy had to commit before yeah. Phil did, essentially, what yeah. happened there. I assure you that Phil's dice are not that hot. We did a shared dice pool last game, and they, <laughs> they felt average on both ends. <laughs> Null is just angry this game. There's a difference. What's the crit button do? So we can uh, oh. have the little animations pop up. I just it wanted just... the word crits to pop up. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could, I could make that happen. You should make that happen. Crits, 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 crits. You like, you want to animate it like that? Yeah, like, like in that like, rhythm. Someone, think about it. When someone natties out crits, it's not going to happen very often. Right. You should have like a banner thing and like fireworks going on. <laughs> I could, I I'm could, excited. I could. Who isn't that. excited when you have like three crits on there? You're like, yeah, I did that on purpose. All right, gumboats in the chat. If you want, uh, if you want some animated crits when somebody natties crits, let me know. <laughs> Has to be all crits. <laughs> Has to be all crits. Yeah, you gotta earn it. I, I can make you that happen. Earn it. I can make it happen. I can have it ready for tomorrow. Um, man, I, I, so the damage engine Y wings in the back, it's just very sad. The problem is that like, I know that you have 
the Y wing with just the ion without the double tap is much sadder. And the correct answer here is he needs a two turn this Y wing. But it's one shot. <laughs> okay, gunboats. <laughs> Anybody who – one thing I do have to explain, if you're watching this in the future or uh, or maybe you're newer to Sen second Sen edition, Sen is why 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 is the gunboat equal to hype? So in first edition, <laughs> that was a ship that everybody wanted for a long time. And uh, when it finally came out, it was just like the official thing of like hype. You know, and it was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. You would yell gunboat and uh, we're just kind of holding on. Remember the good times. <laughs> All right, so you got the rotate, you just focus, whatever. The problem is, it's like, man, this, what? Uh, target, like, whatever. Do whatever you want. Just trying to just set take up. A mod. He's, he's not take a, a mod. He's not expecting to, uh, to have a shot. That's the shot. Yeah, that's the shot yep. you're realistically going to have. Because you need more than one shot on Kylo. So even if you can shoot Kylo and no one else can, he does He's whatever. Mm -hmm. 4K. All right, don't hate it. Whatever. Tommy's saying as far over as possible. You you have the wiggle room. It's true. If you haven't seen it, the, look. Uh, we have a YouTube video called the wiggle room. And it definitely matters on the boba templates. Oh yeah, they do. What you got for us, Y wing? Just move it. Put it. Put the ship where you want. Just pick it up. Put it up. There you go. That Y wing's not gonna do anything. Sac sacrificial fodder right there. Just trying to be in the way. Not much you can do about it. Like damage engine. Yeah, I mean he's in. No. And that's maybe, maybe he's not he necessarily blocking, but but at least taking up some space, preventing Kylo from getting away through that lane. Maybe. The problem is, is that's not who he really wants to shoot. And once this Y wing dies, I am not betting on two generics versus Kylo. No, no. You... Kylo decided he didn't want to be in the in the lane. Okay, so now Kylo isn't shooting this turn. Okay, that's so big to me. I, I think Kylo had to help the bully this turn. I would have just two turned in and dared him. Yep. Um. The, the, what we can't see, though, and again, because of our – and the stream has the same angles. Mm -hmm. I can't tell with this parallax if that two-turn bumped. Yeah. He might have easily seen the one bank and, like, oh, that two-turn bumps. I don't really want to not shoot the Y-Wing, and I'd rather not shoot mm -hmm. than not shoot the Y-Wing and be in that, that death alley. Mm -hmm. He's just setting up for later. Turns out Supernatural is a good strategy. <laughs> it's, it's quite good. I mean, being able, to, being able to adjust on the fly is fantastic. All right, and here is Null Sloop. Oh, okay. And it's going to be getting distance. shot. Distance. That's what he wanted. All right. I mean, you At get the distance once. for this turn, but next turn you're coming back in. So Now, if Tommy can get Noel off the board and still have all three of these ships, he has a chance has to a try chance. to herd Kylo into a corner. That's what so you really want to do. And this is what I didn't do in our game. If he does that, right, he mm -hmm. needs to gather his ships up very quickly. Yes. He can't have them straggling around. And depending on the game state, that might not be easier said than done. They mm -hmm. might be out of position to quickly collapse yep. and re-threaten the arcs against Kylo. Hit crit. E Z. And uh, he's he's taking it. Hit crit. That's it. Y wing's dead. Man, Noel is angry. Off the board. You may never see Kylo again. I mean, there's some say he never existed. <laughs> there's no reason for him to, to, to stick around. If he doesn't I mean, he'll, have to. he'll fly he... around and, and, and force him to try. And I mean, the game is on Tommy, mm -hmm. right? Tommy knows it. He can count. Um, right now, Tommy's going to try and kill. No. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, Kylo might as well reengage because, you know, nothing better to do. But the decloak to the left is what I call it. The, the supernatural two turn or one turn. Yes. I mean, he doesn't have to do it. He can just one turn now. Easily fits, and he gets so much room. Whew. Got it. Okay. One v one. Null is the MVP. Man. I mean, he's, he's done a ton of damage in this right? game. And again, I know people like to say his dice were hot, but like I said, I just played Phil. We used a common dice pool. It's pretty average dice. Yep. I just like I said, Null's just been angry this game. <laughs> Kylo's ability is like mediocre. Like it's, genuinely, it's it's you much rather use his force points for force points. Correct. Yeah. Every, almost any any premier level Kylo player. Uh -huh. Will tell you that is just a bonus. Like yeah. well, if you really have nothing else to use the force for, you're like, I guess I'll so like, do. It has I guess I'll give you a panic, panic pilot. That's like ready. You do, so ready you have to go. go like next turn. I can easily see we're not even going to exchange shots, so I don't mind spending the force. Yep. Half the time that's not true. More than half the time that's not true. So you're yep. like, nah, screw it. I'm going to keep my force. Yep. Or you've already been been burning them for defense. Yep. 
Yeah, it's it's one of those where I see I see a lot of uh, not as experienced players just immediately try to use it, mm -hmm. and the thing is that you have no way to guarantee crits to get a, get the ability right. off. So it just sits around for a while. Yep. In first edition, it was free; like you yeah. didn't have to. It just happened. So so of course you. Well, used I mean, it. there's a slight tweak here. Kylo can now just do it just by defending. He doesn't have to take right. damage, but he has to spin that force. And like I said, the force points are so valuable. Yes, there's like the game state really has to be this way. I mean, so the problem with me trying to predict, like, Kylo here is it's too hard, right? Like, he could just decide that he wants to go straight. He could do the decloak to the left in one turn. He could can to cane mm -hmm. in. All of those seem fine. Nothing seems incorrect. That's Tommy's just... in a position where he can't keep getting mods. I mean, he does have the target lock, so I don't know I want to diminish that. Uh, fit. There you go. He'll have a focus. Ooh. Target lock focus shot on He might all. get VTG anyway here. There you go. That's a veteran turret gunner. I like that. Veteran turret gunner allows Did he clear? you. Is he thinking? They're thinking. Just take yeah, that yeah, focus. I think he cleared. Don't you rotate that arc. <laughs> Go out there and slap that hand. <laughs> yeah, he's thinking about it. I mean, who knows what he did? He could have done five straight again. He could two turn, one turn. So, Phil. Smells like a barrel roll. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, yes, Mad Medic. Like, yes, he's rolling well. I'm just saying, like, people like to point at dice. Like, I just played film and use a common dice ball. I'm just yeah. laughing because, yes, he's rolled really above average, mm -hmm. but it has nothing to do with the dice. Just, just coincidence. Yep. Like, statistics are clumpy, and sometimes you see a lot of positive results in a row, and then nothing. Yep. So, good on him. But the strategy was just as sound. Oh yeah, it was. He right? made, he he made the right choices. He happened to roll a lot of hits and crits, but like there was no punishment coming in for null. Correct. It's all been free shots. All right. So there was the candy cane, the barrel roll over Easy. and one hard, and he's gonna have a range three shot to try to tag that X wing. Two bank. Oh, man, null is in a bad spot. N null is not a great. So null sort of needs to barrel roll because he actually gets free VTG here. Yes. Like it's that is weird to say that he gets his primary and his side arc. Yep. Because he's gold. he's he's right he's right on that line. Will he not get it? He might not get it. I figured he's on the line. See, this is the problem with the parallax error. It looks like it's in the line. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure he is. He might not get it. Yeah, I mean that's this is the the, the nature of the fact that supernatural exists. Sorry right. guys. On I would number pay twenty four points. Okay. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. It's at least sometimes worth it. The fact that we're still considering the upgrade at twenty four. Mm-hmm. That's that's the thing that yeah. hurts my soul a little bit, is people are like, oh, I want. People are still considering playing it, and I'm not sure they're wrong. Yeah, and right. It's at least at the break even where sometimes you take it, sometimes you don't, and I'd still rather see that not taken. Yes, I'd rather see Luke Gunnard entirely, <laughs> and it's not. Even at 24, it's not, and that's for I fives. I six, maybe it's dead until some Jedi jump up. Yep. I'm not sure it's dead. We have to see points. All right, and he's rolling, so he'll just be in he, the ion arc. I suspect that the answer was he was in that line. He's mm -hmm. like, I, I prefer taking less shots. And he's also rolling out of range one of the X-Wing. Ooh, yeah. He's looking at the fact that if he gets ioned here, though, I don't think there's any safe zone. Eh, what are you going to do? Kylo's still pretty good. Yeah. And Noel hasn't taken any damage yet. Still clean. And that looks to be range two to both. Mm -hmm. So we know Tommy's options as well. And he's going to be going at the Y-Wing. Two dice. Yep. And just one. And got the evade. got it. <laughs> Tommy, there in. he goes. Warm, he's warming up. And Kylo yeah. trying to tag here. Kylo would love to get that focus off that X-Wing. Mm -hmm. And the X-Wing shields down, right? Let me look. Nope, one up. Uh, yeah, he's still got one. Eh, whatever. Spend, here's a target lock. There we go. And the force, so well, one he'd be force. willing to spend That's one. That's the problem. Yeah. Yep. He didn't really improve his situation there. Yeah, he probably should have. All righty. Spend and it. Yep. Yep, safe. See, the problem I have here is like... You're in a weird spot that I don't know the answer to. Do you take the, uh, what, one, two, and who's taking one there? And just whatever, just to try and hit, tag this null? Oh. And three oh. blanks, X-Wing. Okay, well, accidentally correct. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, that ion, ion turret. But, I mean, he gets four dice here. This Safe. Why I don't care about ion turret. 
this right here, guys. I know you love them double tap wise, and I even think that five SR uh, five, five ship rebel. Yep, uh, it's pretty good because you usually get to, you have to bring some wise, and they're not bad there. But you don't get VTG. Yep. But this is my problem with VTG. Like if you look at extended, mm-hmm. right? So we saw uh, uh, House of Yoon, who I rep today, right? Uh, who brought the uh, Skurgs, I forget what they're the lock uh, lock revenant lock revenant with Dre. So now those three those double taps, every shot is at least slightly modded. Yes, that's scary. Yep, these wild wings don't have any of that. Nope. That second shot is not good. I, I, I know it's not as good. It feels good to roll dice, but I'm going to tell you, man, it feels real bad when I roll a bunch of dice yep. without mods and a whole lot of nothing happens. I yeah. go, man, I hate myself. Yeah, you're you're leaning you're leaning on hoping variance goes your way. Right, is what you're doing. And so I don't. Yeah, this is my only com- concern and and like critique of the veteran turret gunner wise. They don't have a way to get more mods. Mm-hmm. If you're Dre. I love them. Skurgs work. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean the piece is the Dre piece. Correct. All right, Phil. I mean, he. I mean, he's the, world's, in, he's, the world's Kylo's oyster here. Yeah, I don't he's know in what an he offensive does. position. He can take take whatever angles he I does. He wants. I figure it's like a two bank, because he can barrel roll if he wants. He can just two bank. He can sit in front of that rock. There's zero consequences yep. for doing that. And that's that's a really sound strategy with Kylo because you can always barrel roll away from it. Yeah. That was something uh, really common for ships like Blackout, but he doesn't do it anymore because yeah. he can't bar- he can't barrel roll before. Sad. No advanced sensors for you, silencers. Not now, at least. Not for a while. All right, so we might be getting a 4K here. There it is. So right now, that X-Wing is serving up his uh, his his side. What is that? The, the port mm-hmm. side? Mm-hmm. Like a one straight, I guess. A one bank. The one straight's not terrible. Yeah. Again, you might trigger your BTG because you can shoot Kylo this turn. Mm-hmm. Possible. I, again, I'm not even going to try and predict what Kylo. What, what yeah, he has, he has so many options. Way too open for me to even guess. The two. I don't hate the two bank just because. Again, you could just do the two bank. But man, I don't know. I mean, I clearly know. I just don't. Don't feel like sharing it. It's the <laughs> top level secrets. <laughs> All right, Tommy decided on a focus action, and now Phil looking at his options. Yeah. So Mad Medic mentioned the, the he likes the five-shot rub, just not the Y-wing. Like, the one I'm thinking of is – There's a too hard. Yeah. Is two X-wings, a U-wing, and two Y-wings. Mm-hmm. It's just rebel beef in hyperspace. Of course, you like the extended better, but you don't have it. Mm-hmm. No, no Z95. But it's figure. a lot of arcs. Still a lot of arcs. A lot of hit points. So Kylo sitting at range two in the front arc. But probably behind he's the rock. Pro- he said, I got to kill this thing. So he's thinking. The irony is, he doesn't. You don't, Phil. <laughs> yeah, he's ahead 117 to 64. You're up a lot. Like I said, every game he's you com- just he's throw he's Null away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this time you couldn't because Null did a lot work. Yeah. He's, com- he's coming in aggressive. Range one there. He's going to take two shots because the, uh, the bomber still has health. Mm-hmm. Only lost a couple shields. Yeah, I'm out. I want off this ride. I'm really surprised that Phil is it sitting at range one of that that Y wing. I know he doesn't like, have the double the, tap. Well, this is the this is the he has the health to, to make that exchange. True. What I don't like is that this guy could randomly tack Kylo. Yep. So this is the turn where I, I expected last like a while ago he might just two turn in. Mm-hmm. So he's doing it now, but I mean he doesn't need to. Here's uh, Kylo range one to the Y wing. Four dice, only eh. two. That's average. Eh. I mean this is literally statistically like two hits, a focus, and a, yep. and a blank. It's has, true. He does have a lot of honor. Ha, has the target lock, and he's spending the force. Three hits, and he has a focus. I think Tommy's just going to take it. He still has a shield. Yep. I mean, he has to make these trades now. He has no choice. Yep. Four hole left, and that. And earns. he pretty much needs to shoot Kylo this turn. He doesn't really got a, a like a good vote. Like he's got to hope for some variance. Now. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't attack with the, the Y wing first because he has a mod there. Yeah. Yep. Oh man. I mean, there's not not much you can do about it. Two. I mean, this All is right, what there, he wanted. There this you is go. The kind of, tag I mean, two. Man, he's still not even half. He needs that half. Now, like I know, I know this is hindsight, but I want to want to take a second to talk about Tommy's 
choice of shooting order, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, if you have this situation where you have a mod on a ship that also has a mod and you have an unmodded shot, mm -hmm. you, you almost always want to take the modded shot first so that you have an opportunity to strip that token and give that unmodded to shot an opportunity. increase your chances of, of yes. hitting harder and, and pushing the focus. Yep. Yeah. Because I know, I know it's hindsight. We saw the dice. Mm -hmm. But that would have been, you know, that would have been three hits. And uh, and this this would have been this was natty this was natty twos mm -hmm. so you know just, just Kylo would have been half points in that situation. Of course we didn't we wouldn't have known the dice beforehand, but yeah, well. that's the kind of situation where you have to kind of get have your be prepared for it. Set yourself up for success. See, I do kind of like so I, I I see, but I also kind of like what he's saying. Like shoot your weaker attack first, because if you natty, he has to push tokens first before he has to deal with the modded shot true because the problem with the focus tokens you don't know when to spend it mm -hmm. right um i'm usually of the school i mean this is game state dependent but as a broad right. statement i spend the focus when it matters every single time mm -hmm. unless again i'm holding it for my attack this is a different scenario i'm not i usually don't like holding my focus token for more shots later i just like spending it uh, i'm not sure it's always the right math but i mean that math is really hard to do live I don't know what this Y-Wing does. A two-turn, but then he's blocking his X-Wing again. So Kylo can't super. So this is yet another turn. His super is turned off. Yep, because he has this stress five token. straight, though. Sad. You, you, Phil, Phil is uh, anguishing here. Does Phil know here. he's winning? He oh. has to know he's winning, right? Yeah, Phil. I, oh, he lost two shields on Kylo. He's, yeah. just, he's not comfortable. I've oh, seen. Man, I, I don't like that. I've seen Phil play a lot. He's just always constantly. It doesn't matter even if he has like five ships versus one in the end game. He's always stressed out about his decisions. Yeah, I don't like this two turn. I, I I think it's pretty obvious you don't fit, and you will not have a shot this turn, like no shots. I think it's just hoping trying to get his his ship turned around. Sorta, and I think he wants to make sure that the X one gets its mod. Mm -hmm. That's probably what he wants. But man, you're not gonna hit Kylo. You are really banking on extra levels of variance at this point. Doesn't hit the rock. Yeah. And now just get get the Y-Wing out of the way so you can have him on. I don't like the two straight because that five straight might just completely arc dodge him. Like Kylo, Kylo just got reminded why he doesn't like to exchange shots. Yeah, he's like, oh, wait, I don't like taking damage. I mean, he might get the shot on, on, on uh, yeah, two turn, turns. Turning away. Okay. So he he has a pocket there I mean, where he can only take uh, two dice from the Y wing. Actually, he might be able to just get all of all, all of it right right boost barrel roll left. He's fine, basically. I would say they're bullying Kylo, but I'm not sure that's a true statement. Look at the look at the space of the ship. Uh, one thing that Phil did open up here, though, is the Y-Wing is in a position where he could pretty much only to have strong moves and have mods and attacks. His only options were going forward, oh, yeah. and Phil has gone into that area. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'd be terrified to have Noel behind me after all this. I mean, after all <laughs> At those. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Phil rolling in, trying to get a shot. Probably he's going to get the Y-Wing for sure. I'm not sure he's going to clip the X-Wing, though. But that Y wing only has a couple. Mm -hmm. What is that? Four hole left, and not a lot of agility. Yep. Range two. Two on one. There it is. Easy. Tick tock. Man, I this is basically scoop levels of. Right, Tommy's just trying trying to play it out. He only got five thirty left here. Range two, and spend the focus for two. And Noel finally takes the damage. Shield down. Correct. Five minutes and you're free, Tommy. <laughs> I mean, and Noel, Noel's in the flanking position, too. Mm. Mm -mm. And so 
we're in a spot now, right? If we were looking, if we had like an advantage meter, right? So mm-hmm. Phil is has majority of the advantage. Mm-hmm. What does Tommy need to do? What is the uppercut that he has to try to perform in order to get back in this game? He it's, has, it's, to, it's, it has to get Kylo, right? He has to get Kylo at this point. So just Killing ignore- Null literally does not solve, and yeah. he, only, he has no time left. Yep. Um, I just don't know what he does to to even threaten that. Like he has to like three bank the X wing, and then like I. So Kylo's stress, so there's no supernatural. So I guess you could more safely three bank the Y. But I mean, man, it just it's a two die shot and a three die shot. Kylo could just do five straights again. I mean, then he's in the corner, but like supernatural bank again. Yep. His ability is damaged, not suffering damage. Mm-hmm. Which, if you haven't watched our X-Wing quick that tip about being damaged. Seems far too committed for the, the direction that he's facing. I mean, if this was one of those at Mana Major, it's, it's near zero for Tommy, sadly. Mm-hmm. Um, I've said this before. There's just a lot of games that are decided earlier, and this game was oh, technically yeah. decided earlier. Yep. If you're trying to play it, you have to recognize like this is not helping his win con at all. This could be pride points. I want to yeah. kill. Null has done way too much damage. To yeah, my I'm, list. I'm taking this guy. I out. too am angry. <laughs> the X-wing will have a range one shot, and Kylo is yeah, hit, hit. Yeah, hitting the gas. Like I said, even the three banks would have barely, right? Focus boosts it, 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 back then, assuming you were yeah. threatening shots. At the top of the board. Right. And even he has the, like, super, if there were, was a potential threat, he has the, like, supernatural boost. Oop. Let me just draw that a little bit better. Or not. There we go. He has the boost and then and five straight. Again. Noel is sitting at range one of that X Wing. So Tommy might have that opportunity to take yeah. him out here. Like I said, pride points. <laughs> And this is Phil. This is uh, Noel into the Y wing. I mean, target lock here could actually just kill this Y wing. Saddest Y wing. I think Phil doing a health check, spending yeah. the lock Full here. Target lock. Hit, Hit crit. crit. Okay. Okay. Got him. Y wing off the board. X wing in a dream. <laughs> yep. So. All right, Tommy, roll those dice. Get a little bit of a revenge. It feels good. And uh, as we get to the end of this game, I do want to remind you guys to go to curlpawcreatives.com. Oh, there it is. That should be a dead null. Uh, hold on. Oh, he has a focus. He does have a focus. <laughs> there. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> Told you. It's a, it's a crit. Three agility is a good strategy. Uh, weapons okay, failure. Whatever. <laughs> you know what? That does. Isn't that a fitting crit though? With I mean, with, with the amount of off, damage he's done. Stop. Just tap. <laughs> Let me off the ride. All right, PS0. Now, so what I was saying is you can go to curlpawcreators.com to get all your acrylic game token needs. Use our coupon code CRATECUP19 for 15% off. It is a $15 minimum. Uh, Andrew just put up a bunch of new stuff up there, Stre- uh, strain tokens, which are going to be used in Wave 3. And i um, super excited to get those, some large-scale versions of those on mm-hmm. our stream. Also got some Arc ID tokens, some large scale I mean, ones. He's kind of just feeding him null here. I would have turned in. Uh, this, should, this should be a one, one forward. Yeah. Looks like a two. Okay. Well, Tommy might also also might I mean, not be aware of the time. Maybe it's even if he, he is, like he's aware of the score. I suspect. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like I, I just make it in. Yep. It, Let me off. <laughs> First of all, a lot of those dice. I don't think you're going to get it for 50. Yep. I don't think you're going to get 50 per die. <laughs> <laughs> PS0. Uh, zero. PS0 zero now. Or initiative zero. I mean, functionally, might as well just be initiative one t- or, yeah, you know, doesn't matter. People asking, are there going to be large scale strains? I don't know if they're up yet, but they, they will they will exist eventually. <laughs> Uh, there's also a new target lock design, the advanced mm. target lock. And 
And that is time in the round. This is going to be it. Yeah. Like a one turn from null, focus, whatever. Mm -hmm. Kylo yeah. will probably come in and shoot. He can even have points now, and it's functionally irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Phil might just play it safe, though. You just, you I boost, mean, I, I wouldn't even away. let him shoot, but Phil's way nicer than I am. Yep. I mean, you, you when you do stuff like that, you can very very easily almost lose games. Like Punished. I almost did. <laughs> Punished. Man, that honor is about to get real honorable in a second. <laughs> Honor. There it is. Honor and glory. I like to target lock and boost. Yeah, you're right. That's right. Do the right things. Turn in. Yep. Wherever your target locks look, are. Looking for his lock. There it is. There it is. Boost. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Whew. Here we go. Sorry. Has a lock. Yep. There we go. And the X Wing. Re get out. Is uh has some crits coming in. Alright, let's see what happens. Drum roll. Hold your breath. Stun, Stun pilot. pilot. The route function irrelevant. So it's down to one hole. Noel can finish it. God, it's a clean sweep. Sweep in the leg. Here we go. The X-Wing is try, try, trying to uh, get something before he goes. Hit crit. Has a lock. Not today. And no, spends right. a focus to not lose Null. God, Null no, kills a kill. <laughs> they just let you. <laughs> and one crit. <laughs> All and right. that's it. All right. Good oh. game. Thank you to Phil and Tommy. Congratulations to Phil. Moving into the uh, the final yeah, for the Top 50 Invitational. Travis, thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to remind everybody that Curl Paw Creators is a sponsor for this round uh, and this entire weekend. Use that coupon code CRATECUP19 for 15% off of that sweet swag. We'll be back in about probably 10 to 15 minutes uh, hmm. for the final. And that should be... Uh, Phil Horny versus. We need to find out who's. How's yeah, the other just, game going? We'll see if I can find out. All right, Travis is gonna go find out for us. Andrew Cox. Hello, everybody. So what? What's the list again? Poe, Bastion, Tally, Lulo. All right. So two X, two A versus Phil Horny. We got. We got the resistance versus the first order to finish this up. Again, we'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, I know a couple of people were asking earlier, are we doing any giveaways? We're not doing any today. Our giveaways, though, will be live tomorrow.